science. Welcome to the science of differentiation and how your mind works, my friends. Lavina Archer's The Gate, that function being a filter of the consciousness data stream. Let's imagine now that that is in an undefined function and it's one of your core essence, grounding and balance on the personality side. So if that filter isn't functioning properly, everything's off. And it all has to do with beginning at the body side. So how important strategy and authority is so that you can get the frequency right and be a fully, truly conscious human being who's watching the program, you know, the life that you're seeing around us, the material world, who's actually watching that? Because you can watch it from a skewed state, distorted state, distracted state. That's the key you want to use. Distracted is a personality concept transference is going to be the, our main focus for today because transference is your sun earth motivational frequency getting distorted it's the easiest thing to see because this is the i who i think i am sun and earth and it's the ultimate conceptualization process that you have access to so when you see your mental transference very easy to see at the conceptualizing level then you know you've really seen something and ask who's watching Whenever you get to that point, that's when you have, can have a potential for a Satori, like who's really watching this, to get in touch with your passenger consciousness. So it starts with your decision-making process. It starts with being able to be your own authority. And when it comes to this operating in alignment, first it begins with making correct decisions, feeding yourself correctly, and being in the correct environment. Now, feeding it's not just about what you put in your mouth, but also what you take in as part of your data stream of experiences and information. So that's what I like to remember to help people do is what's actually going in on the body side affects what comes out on the mind side. And when you feed yourself correctly, you're pulled around age 30, you're pulled to being in the correct environment environment is this frequency of the place. It's not necessarily a place on earth. So those are very important in order for us to see things clearly. And then once we're seeing things clearly, now we can have our correct motivation. The way that you're seeing is framed is going to be a binary. It's always a binary. You're seeing and then your awareness. It's going to be a this or a that. On this side, it's not a bad thing. It's just skewed but it gives you a counterpoint between what your correct way of seeing is, which for me is personal. So you hear me say things like, personally for me, well, here's my personal experience. Well, I'm not quite certain about you, but here's what it's like for me, that kind of thing. The distraction is called power. And when I get distorted by trying to figure out who's up and who's down, who's winning, who's losing, that generally tends to make me feel like pulling away and my motivational frequency doesn't want to lead. It's like, oh, that's not my problem. That's not my trip. And then it feels really bitter inside. And so that's a signpost, just like bitterness is a signpost of being off track for an advisor, being pulled away or playing the innocent. Oh, it's not, not up to me. I'm not going to lead because I'm a leader motivated by desire, the swell of energy to be able to take the helm when it's right for me, potentially being able to step back and, and be the support person behind the throne, power behind the throne, 21, no 45. So when you get to this place of knowing yourself so clearly that you can see when you're getting distracted, term for psychological transference on the seeing side, and transferred motivational frequency of your conscious cognitive awareness, then you have an additional attunement to something that's going to help you recognize whether or not you're operating in alignment besides bitterness. So it's an instantaneous recognition that even a projector can make who's emotional, wide split, a, an instantaneous recognition, kind of like how generators, builders have response Projectors, advisors have motivation. It's the most important tool outside of decision-making strategy. And what if that client is unable to follow their decision-making strategy for whatever reason, whatever reason, we go back to 
the brain body system and start at the beginning. Okay. So if the stuff that I'm telling you today, if you're seeing that somebody's having a really hard time with following their decision-making strategy, this is especially true. If they have a brain body system that is pointed right, you want to bring them to the beginning. So refer them out until you are a differentiation degree practitioner, because it this deep process, which is designed to be coaching. A lot of where I get my coaching basis is in the DDD, DDP program for applying human design and then seeing what I can do to bring it over to the business realm. And that's what I've been doing for years. Start with the body. It's like if your hard drive is gunked up with dust and dog hair, we have to clean it out first, get it clean, and then we can run the software on it. Okay. Have other people actively transferred you? It's a natural, normal part of the program. What did you notice? Are there people in your life that don't like that you actually stand back when it's correct for you to stand back? Have they tried to get you to get involved? Come on over here. Why aren't you doing stuff with me? You know, are you aware of them actively transferring you? Have you ever suppressed your motivation in order to please them or take an action just to please people, please? That's a big primary challenge, particularly in people who are um, attuned to pair bonding, basic splits, that kind of thing, who really, you know, hang on undefined survival instincts, trying to make something work that actually your body is going, no, just let go. That was so much fun. This is about being an enthralled audience of your own life. And give yourself seven years to transform. It's like a new layer of the onion getting peeled away. So it is the next layer of consciousness, awareness, enlightenment, which is simply loving oneself, trusting oneself, accepting oneself. So how you make decisions is what is going to heal you. You can still wait to respond and your mind's still screwed up. If you don't like that, this is where the next place is to go to work with, okay? And then when you're operating in integrity, you have access to all of these wonderful cognitive differences. And when you don't, you have no access to cognition when you're in transference. All of this is just wiped away. You have no intelligence relative to your awareness, not the one that you were born to have.